What's so cool about manufacturing? Witness hot water tank actually exploding. If I've been a lot of staff in your house, thankfully you don't have to. We're here at Watts Water Technologies, Franklin, New Hampshire Division, to show you how they manufacture safety valves for your water heater so it doesn't become a missile destroying your house. Let's go in and check it out. Watts is a 140-year-old company. It's a great company to work for. A lot of the products are made right here in Franklin, New Hampshire. Uh, as you can see, we make a lot of products that control the temperature of the water, the pressure of the water, uh, the flow of the water, or the water quality. My name is Michael Malevi. As the design engineer, I create the product. There's many different components that all need to work together. So we model each one of the individual components. From this 3D model, we can create the engineering specifications that are needed in order to manufacture it. We can create the tooling that's needed in order to produce it. And we can also use um, flow software so we can analyze the molten metal. Uh, so this is some really neat 21st century software that actually mimics the molten metal being poured into that mold. Here in our pattern shop is where we make the pattern equipment to make the molds so we can pour the molten metal into to make our castings. We can export that 3D model to our CNC machines, that's our computerized numerical control machines in the back, where we make the pattern impressions from that 3D model. These molds consist of two parts. We make core boxes, uh, which make the cores which define the internal shape of the casting. And we also make pattern plates, which are what defines the outside shape of the casting. Once the pattern plate and cores are finished, they are sent up to the molding station where the sand is squeezed into a mold. Then the mold is sent down the line and metal is poured into the top of the mold. The mold then gets shaken and broken up and sent down to cut off where the castings will be released from the tree, uh, cut, ground and finish, and then shot with a finished wheel braider uh, that will make them look smooth and shiny. My name is Chris, uh, I am a CNC setup operator. I take uh, rough castings from the foundry and I put them into my machines to be precision machined with different tooling. The machine uses uh, what we call form tools. It uses taps, thread mills, different size drills. We use a lot of different tooling. Hi, I'm Kathy. I'm a cell operator here at Watts. We are the final steps in making the valve. We get the bodies from the foundry, we put them on the pallet with a thermostat, send it down the line. An automatic robot will put in the inserted pieces that it needs. Once that's done, it goes through a tester. Once it's tested, it goes back through some more automated robots who will actually put on top work. Once that's done, it'll go to the last station where you'll also see a person who's actually doing the packing. What's so cool about manufacturing? Turning a brass ingot into a water heater safety valve.